I'm your host, Ava. And I am Mark. We are coming to you from the Wolfboro Community Television Studios, where we bring your community to view. We say thank you to our friends at the Yum Yum Shop for underwriting next week in Wolfboro. It is through the support of underwriters and donors like you that programs like this are possible on Wolfboro Community Television. If you would like to underwrite a program for Wolfboro Community Television, please contact our producers at 569-0219. We also want to let your friends and family from out of town know they can watch this program on YouTube. Once you are logged in, just search for Next Week in Wolfboro and you will find our channel. All right, let's start right off the report from the Chamber of Commerce. Mrs. DeVries is ready for the report. We're saying over to you, Mrs. DeVries. Hi, and welcome to Next Week in Wolfboro. My name is Mary, sitting outside on this beautiful now fall day uh, in front of the Information Center and Chamber of Commerce office. Stop down and see us. Just another reminder, we have your community calendar of events. You can pick up a copy right here, either inside while you're saying hi to us, or pick up a copy in the out door rack that's available always. So here we go, we're wrapping up September and the Fall Festival takes place this Friday, Saturday and Sunday, the 27th, 28th and 29th of September and there will be lots of activities on all three days. Sidewalk sale days is Friday and Saturday, then on Saturday the Kingswood Youth Center puts on its annual chili cook-off and Parks and Recreation down at Foss Field where the chili cook-off takes place on Saturday will also have lots of fun family games and activities. There'll be some food and uh, then again sidewalk sale days on that Saturday. Branch and Bloom is a part of the Fall Festival putting on a uh, Branch and Bloom Flower Festival. Pardon me, it's a flower festival so it's a dare to create don't need any experience but you do please need to register at branchandbloomnewhampshire.com again give us a call here at 569-2200 if we can help you with any of this information and get you to your events uh, what else do we have coming up skipping ahead a little bit is the castle car show that's at castle in the clouds on october 5th that's a saturday and also on october 5th is the Wolfboro Lions Club annual fundraiser. They do a chocolate confections and more auction. So it all takes place at All Saints Episcopal Church in Wolfboro and it includes a dinner prior to the auction and you can call 569-0199 for more information. It's 5 to 8 p.m. at uh, the All Saints Episcopal Church and I'm just going to back up that Castle in the Car show at Castle in the Clouds is 10 a.m. to 2 on October 5th. And then there's a new event this year being put on by the Wolfboro Historical Society. We have all the information here, but look at that fun, attractive flyer they put up. So this is a pumpkin patch decorating contest. They actually have pumpkins to give to you. There's two opportunities for you to pick up your pumpkin, and it's while supplies last. The first is during Fall Festival. That Saturday, September 28th, Wolfboro Historical Society will be at the Foss Field Pavilion giving you pumpkins, and then you're going to decorate them. The second opportunity to pick up your pumpkin is on October 12th, and that is over at the Clark Museum Complex. On October 12th, it will be the Vintage Fair, the last for this year, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. So, two opportunities to get your pumpkin, then you decorate them, and then you bring them back to the Clark Museum Complex, where they will be on display from October 29th through October 31st, and the viewers um, will look at the pumpkins when they're going through during Halloween, for example, and at other times, and then the winners will be announced on October 31st. All right, that was a lot. You don't have to remember it all, but just keep it in your mind for now and give us a call if you have questions, 569-2200. And I think that's it for today. Remember to shop, dine, and have fun in your town. See ya. Thank you, Mrs. DeVries. Here are some other things we would like to share with you. Starting with Friday, September 27th. The Kingswood Regional High School field hockey team have a home game versus Hanover at 4 p.m. Go Knights! 
The Kingswood Regional High School Volleyball Team have a home game versus Manchester Central at 6 p.m. Go Knights! The Kingswood Regional High School Football Team have a home game versus Plymouth at, go, at 7 p.m. Go Knights! Saturday, September 28th. The Wolfboro Parks and Rec Fall Festival is at the Foss Field Pavilion from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. The Kingswood Regional High School track team are competing at Kennet at 2 p.m. Go Knights! The Kingswood Regional High School girls soccer team have a home game versus Kennet at 7 p.m. Go Knights! Sunday, September 29th. The Wolfboro Makers Mill have their monthly repair cafe at 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Monday, September 30th. The Kingswood Regional High School field hockey team have an away game versus Lebanon at 4 p.m. Go Knights! The Kingswood Regional High School volleyball team have a home game versus so Summersworth at 6 p.m. Go Knights! Tuesday, October 1st. The Wolfboro Public Library provides toddler time story hour at 10.30 a.m. Advanced sign-up is required. The Kingswood Regional High School golf team are competing at Kingswood at 3.30 p.m. Go Knights! The Kingswood Regional High School boys soccer team have an away game versus Co Brown at 4 p.m. Go Knights! The Kingswood Regional High School girls soccer team have an all, a home game versus Co Brown at 7 p.m. Go Knights! The Wolfboro Planning Board will be meeting at the Wolfboro Town Hall upstairs in the Great Hall at 7 p.m. If you would like to watch the Planning Board meeting from home, Wolfboro Community Television will be broadcasting this meeting live on Channel 25 and on the WCTV YouTube channel. Wednesday, October 2nd. The Wolfboro Public Library provides preschool story hour at 1 p.m. Advanced time is required. The Kingswood Regional High School golf team are competing at Goffstown at 3.30 p.m. Go Knights! The Kingswood Regional High School field hockey team have a home game versus John Stark at 5.30 p.m. Go Knights! The Wolfboro Board of Selectmen will be meeting at the Wolfboro Town Hall upstairs in the Great Hall at 6.30 p.m. If you'd like to watch the Selectman meeting from home, Wolfboro Community Television will be broadcasting this meeting live on Channel 25 and on the WCTV YouTube channel. Thursday, October 3rd. The Wolfboro Public Library provides preschool story hour at 1 p.m. Advanced time is required. The Kingswood Regional High School golf team are competing at St. Thomas at 3.30 p.m. Go Knights! The Wolfboro Board of Selectmen have a budget meeting at, Wolf, at the Wolfboro Town Hall upstairs in the Great Hall at 6 p.m. Monday, October 7th. The Wolfboro Zoning Board of Adjustment will be meeting at the Wolfboro Town Hall upstairs in the Great Hall at 7 p.m. If you would like to watch the Zoning Board meeting from home, Wolfboro Community Television will be broadcasting this meeting live on Channel 25 and on the WCTV YouTube channel. Tuesday, October 8th. The Wolfboro Public Library provides toddler time story hour at 10.30 a.m. Advanced time is required. Wednesday, October 9th. The Wolfboro Public Library provides preschool story hour at 1 p.m. Advanced sign up is required. The Wolfboro Board of Selectmen have a budget meeting at the Wolfboro Town Hall upstairs in the Great Hall at 6 p.m. Thursday, October 10th. The Wolfboro Police Commission will be meeting at the Wolfboro Town Hall upstairs in the Great Hall at 6 p.m. If you'd like to watch the Police Commission from home, Wolfboro Community Television will be broadcasting this meeting live on Channel 25 and on the WCTV YouTube channel. Okay, let's send it over to to the Parks and Recreation Department. Bo Betts is right with an update on all things Parks and Rec. We're sending it over to you, Bo Betts. Thanks, guys. Bo here from Wolfboro Parks and Rec. Hope everybody's having a great week. As a reminder, Fall Festival at Foss Field will take place on Saturday, September 28th from 11 to 3. Uh, in conjunction with the Kingswood Youth Center Chili Cook-Off. Uh, we're hoping for great weather. It's a great event. We're gonna have about 25 vendors at this event this year, which is probably double what we had last year. We'll have live music. We'll have snacks. Uh, the Chili Cook-Off will be there as well. i uh, really love to see you there. It should be a great event. Uh, there will be a electric car demonstration as well. Um, that Selectman Brian Deshays will be at the event um, with a handful of different electric cars. So if you're interested in seeing how they work, um, that will be at the event as well. So a lot of stuff going on in town tomorrow. Um, we're excited. We're hoping to see you guys there. It should be a great event. Um, again, that's 11 to 3 at Foss Field. The rink, Pop Whalen, is now open. 
Yesterday was our first day, oh, uh, excuse me, Monday was our first day open um, for stick practice in public skate. We had a great turnout for stick practice. We have a great crew of guys and ladies that come and play um, every week. They've been coming for as long as I've been working here. Uh, so it was their first, first day back to the rink. Um, since last winter, they were really excited to get out of here. Ice is in great condition. So public skating, stick practice hours are posted on our website. If you're interested in looking for times, check out our calendar or just give the office a call to see when we have those times available. With that said, we are hiring here at Abenaki and Pop Whalen. Um, we're looking for rank attendants, Zamboni drivers, concession staff, um, we're also looking up at Abenaki for mountain operations, ski patrol, inside staff, um, a lodge manager, and rental staff. So if you're looking for a part-time job, it's a great place to work, um, get active into the community. Um, if you're interested, you can find our applications on our website or stop by and fill an application out. Um, and we'll get back to you about that. So again, if you're looking for part-time work, we have a couple different options here. For more information, check out our website for the job descriptions and applications. Turkey Trot registration's been open now for a couple weeks. Um, registration will stay open up until the event in November, the Saturday before Thanksgiving. Uh, we will take race day registrations out as well. What I will say is if you want your guaranteed shirt size for Turkey Trot, you will need to register by October 1st. Um, if you don't register by October 1st, we cannot guarantee that you will get the shirt size that you um, asked for during registration. And then lastly, just a reminder about our senior program, Coffee Conversations every Tuesday, Thursday at the Community Center. Um, great little program. We have a lot of people showing up. As it gets colder, we're hoping people are looking for something to do. So stop by the Community Center on Lanner Street from 10 to noon on Tuesday, Thursdays. Also, you know, look for our, our registration for our October luncheon on Rec Desk. Um, and any other senior programs as well. Stopping by the community center, Tori has all of the information you need about those programs or feel free to stop by our office. Uh, outside of that, we're just kind of working on getting Pop Whaling up and running for the season. Back to you guys. Thank you, Bo Betts. Joyce Davis is at the Wolfboro Public Library with an update. We're saying over to you, Joyce Davis. Thanks, Mark and Ava. We're coming to you today from the young adult section of the library. You can see we have games, books, uh, all kinds of activities for tweens and teens, so be sure to stop in and visit. Our next Second Tuesday book discussion selection is Never Let Me Go by Kashio Ishiguro, author of Remains of the Day and winner of a Nobel Prize in Literature. The discussion will take place on October 8th at 1 p.m., and books are still available for checkout. Join us on Tuesday, October October 29th at 6 o'clock when poet, author, and student of literature Zephyr Zygmunt presents Graveyard Sounds, haunting poems by Edgar Allan Poe and Emily Dickinson. We'll greet Halloween with spooky poetry by two American masters. Helpful explanations and definitions will be provided and the program will include summaries of the featured poets lives and works. If you need help with tech issues, Call us to set up an appointment with Mike, our IT administrator. He's available every Tuesday from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. to help you. You know we have something going on all week long at the library. Drop in for Cribbage Mondays at 1.30. Sit with experienced players and folks just starting out for friendly games and conversation. Stop in for Genealogy Wednesdays in our Thayer History and Genealogy Room from 10 to three every Wednesday. You can get one-on-one -on -one genealogy help and it's good for beginners, intermediate and beyond with volunteers from the Lakes Region Genealogy Interest Group. You can learn the fundamentals of genealogy research. Bring your own laptop if possible. Call the library for more information and instructions on setting up an appointment. And join our new Mahjong group on Thursdays at one o'clock it's quickly becoming one of our most popular activities, and it's for experienced players. And test your vocabulary skills with rounds of Scrabble on Fridays at 10.30. Our children's fall story time session is underway and runs to November 6th. 
Toddler time from ages three and under takes place Tuesday mornings at 10.30, and preschool story times takes place every Wednesday at one o'clock. Please register in advance on our website. And next time you're in, be sure to say hello to our new circulation assistants, Cindy Scott and Laura Maroon. Back to you, Mark and Ava. Thank you, Joyce Davis. Deacon Charlie is at the St. Catherine Drexel Catholic Church with the report. We're saying over to you, Deacon Charlie. Hi, Ava and Mark. How are you today? It's Deacon Charlie here. Uh, we've got a few things to talk about, some wonderful things going on. The first thing I want to mention to you is we have the Nine and Dying, and this is the final date. It's on October 13th. There's room for 28 golfers. And everyone checks in around 1 o'clock, and the first tee time is 1.30. Golfers are then sent out in six-minute intervals as the previous foursomes reach the green. The fee to play is $45. It's a nine-hole scramble. If you've never done this before and you play golf, you have to do it. There's always so much fun. I have to tell you, I've been doing it for years, and my wife comes with me, and we have a lot of fun doing it. And it's such a joy because, you know, it's competitive, but it really isn't. We just have a lot of fun playing together and getting to know different people in the parish. Uh, so if you're going to play, let us know. Uh, you can call the office to register. It's 603-875-2548. The other thing, the better part of this, is after we play golf, we have lunch. And... I understand they serve cold beer. Now, after playing uh, nine holes of golf, it's always a refreshing way to, to, uh, to eat your meal and enjoy a good cold refreshment. So again, call the office, 603-875-2548, and they'll register you for the uh, nine and dine. Again, it's on October 13th. The second thing we want to announce is the second annual Walk for Jim. Uh, this is uh, uh, Jim Foley. As you know, we have this beautiful monument to him out here in front of the church. It'll be held on Saturday, September 28th, from 9 to 11 a.m. in the church parking lot. This is how it works. The goal is simple. You come and you walk the perimeter of the parking lot. Example, 10 laps around equals 2 miles. And then you ask friends and relatives to support you, perhaps a dollar a lap. If you have 10 folks doing that, you'll raise about $100 for the James Foley Legacy Foundation. If, if 50 people do that, we can raise 5000 from our parish in support of the foundation's work. Whatever you decide to do, we hope you will help us honor Jim's memory and his legacy that continues to the work that his mother, Diane, does. And as you know, she does a terrific job with that, helping people overseas who are, have been captive and getting them released. And if you read about her work in, in the papers, it's outstanding. So uh, come on the September 28th from 9 to 11 and, and bring your sneakers to walk a few laps and raise some money for an extremely good cause. And I think that's it for today. Hope you guys have a great week. Thank you for listening in. Thank you, Deacon Charlie. And thank you for tuning in to our weekly program. Remember, there's always something to do in and around Wolfboro. If you would like to add an event to our program, please contact Wolfboro Community Television Station at 569-0219. Or send an email to wctv 25 we hope to see you out and about. We'll look forward to seeing you next week. With clear eyes and full hearts, I am Ava. And I am Mark for Wolfburg Community Television. Bringing your community to view.